In this video, we're going to focus on how we can align the Y scales here on the left side or the grid lines with the Y scale on the right side. So we have them nicely aligned, which makes it look very nice. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to align the grid lines of the left and right Y scales in ChartJS. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to ChartJS3.com getting started to get a default code. This link you can also find in the description box. Scroll down and then copy this entire chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. I'm going to paste this all in here. And then I will cut out this title here, put it in there, paste that, and then save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have a bar chart. And what I want to do is I want to create a line chart. So I'm going to add up here this. We say here, line, save and refresh all right so now we have a line chart so let's make the other scale so we go in here and to make a second scale we basically need to have another data set so i'm going to uh, duplicate this entire data set here copy put a comma in there and paste that in there and then i'm going to select some colors so i say this line will be the black line so i'm going to say here black line and then we have another one here up this will be the red line Say red line, and the red line is of course the upper color here. There we are. There we are. If I save this, make sure we have some different numbers here. So I say this 120, 60, 90, and then this maybe will be 30, 60, and 90 again. If I save this and refresh, now we have basically two different values here, but they're not matching here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another scale in here. To do that, well, first of all, just remove these border width so the lines will be nice and thick. Save that. So, for that, I want to assign for the black line that it will be on the right side. So, for that, we'll get a different axis. So, I'm going to say here basically the y axis ID, and I'm going to say here we can give it a name, anything will be. I'll just say this will be the match object. So, basically, what we're creating here is an object. That we can use here for the for this one we need to assign here specifically what is the axis we say here the y axis id in this case is the y which is by default already assigned in here and the y and x uh, objects are always considered as a default in ChartJS. so but for this one here we do need to specify something more so let's start to do that I'm going to say a match because it's an object now because we indicated now that this is a specific object and in this object what I want to do here is well first of all it should begin at zero comma and then what I want to do here I want to say a type and the type will be linear comma and then what we want to do here is eventually we want to calculate the amount of ticks so how it really works is basically we need to know how many ticks are in here once we have this line here so what i right now i'm going to just say one two three or i'll just leave that for now we're going to, later on i'm going to play with that i'm going to save this and then of course what we need to do here i need to say the position right position equals the right side of the chart save this make a comma here refresh all right so now we get them but of course as you can see here we get these grid lines and these grid lines are not aligned with each other which can look here quite confusing. An option would be to remove from one the grid lines, but of course it would not make sense because you can see here we have 100. And then if you would remove this, then here it's just here between 14 and 16. So it might be very confusing and it would be more, more logical to have them matching whatever we have here. For that, we have here, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 ticks. So if we would have just here 10 ticks, it would be logical to have here as well 10 ticks. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need to increase that amount. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to cut out this. Let's put it up here. Let's put a comma here. And then what I want to say here for now, I'll just make it very simple. I'm going to indicate here the ticks. There you ticks. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to indicate here a specific amount of ticks. I'm going to say it ticks. And let's say you count 9 or 10 it was in this case. So if we have 10 ticks here, we should have as well 
in here, or not in there, sorry, but just in here, comma, you say it ticks, because it's a ticks object, we do your count 10 as well. If we save this, refresh, as you can see here now, it is nicely aligned. However, you might say, well, hold on. Well, basically this here, we cannot do anything about this because this is really exact alignment of it. But one thing we can solve is, can we make this instead of a hard-coded value like this into a soft-coded value? And the answer is yes. What we need to do here then is we need to use here basically a callback. So I'm going to say a count, and I'm going to say here, context. And context will be now a callback functionality. And then within here, I can say console log. And if I say here context, it will give us all the information. And open up the developer tab. It gives us all the information of the object, specifically of the current scale we're in. And if you're wondering which scale, we are right now in the match scale. So what this means is the following. And let me just reduce this or at least maximize this. What it means is we want to now basically get here because right now the return value is equal to none. There's no return value right now. It says count, but it doesn't give a value. If I say here now return, I put in here 10, save that, refresh. Now it works. As you can see here, now this works nicely. However, I want to grab this one here. How do we do that? Well, we have here the context. So let's start to dig deeper into this and what we need to do here basically is from this context object i want to go to the chart item so if we click here we have here the scales it will go deep in here but i need to go to a specific item which is the context.chart save that refresh once we do that we get some more information and we're going basically to the chart object where we're not anywhere in this specific tick or in this specific object but we can now we're just one level higher going in here. And what I want to do here is truly, I want to go from the canvas or from the chart. We go to the configuration. From the configuration, we can go to objects, or options, which is the options object. Then we can go here into the scales and we can select here the Y scale. And then what we're going to search here is basically the ticks. And what I want here is how many ticks did we assign? In this case, you can see here from config, dot options dot scales dot y dot takes dot count equals 10. So remember this, we're going to use this now here. You say from the chart dot config dot options dot uh, well basically here options then scales dot y dot takes that's this one here and then count. Put that in there, save that refresh and now we get the value of 10 which is exactly equal here if I do this 9 save so we get this of 9 and you can do this different structure so now what we can do is basically this I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to say here the return will be equal to this entire chunk of code so now if I save this refresh and there we are we get these numbers here and if I change this let's say make this 12 save we get more different numbers and of course we could fine tune this as well with some easy f features as well. But this is basically the way how we can align them. Let's put them on 10 would be the most logical one. There we are. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to have, for example, titles on the left and the right side, I have a specific video for that one, how to add scale titles on both Y axis in chart.js, which is this video here, and together it would make a very nice combination between a nice aligned grid lines and of course titles on the left and right.